Hey, what's up, nerds? Skeleton Jim, and I am here with my first Let's Play ever, for which I have chosen Darkest Dungeon. Also, welcome to the cursed fucking LP. I've <laughs> I've had a hard time with this one. Um, not for anything like the game. Um, just various issues with recordings and everything. So this is about the fourth time that I started this horrible, horrible thing. Um, so let us begin. What are we going to call this bitch? Um, we are going to be... <laughs> uh, we, oh god, no. Oh god. We're going to be the... The Cthulhu fucking dynasty. Enter. Yes, begin. Alright, so we're gonna start the game. Um, I'm gonna let the opening cinematic play for you all. So, I guess sit back, relax, grab some snacks, some fucking apple, apples, some juice boxes, grape, you know? Alright. Be very, very quiet. You will arrive along the old road. It winds with a troubling, serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside. Leading only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. There is a sickness in the ancient, pitted cobbles of the old road. And on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other damnably transcendent terrors. So steal yourself, and remember there can be no bravery without madness. The old road will take you to hell, but in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. Ooh. Anyway, so I'm going to talk about the game a little bit. Um, for those that do not know or are not familiar with this game, um, it was it's been in early access for a really long time. And I actually, I first got it when it first went into early access. That's a lot of firsts. It's not good writing. Um, <laughs> and uh, so I've had a lot of time. I've been with it. They've had numerous, like, updates and everything. And um, basically there's two core gameplay, yes, hello, gameplay mechanics throughout the game. There's this, which is, like, this dungeon crawly, explore the areas, and then there's, like, an over world like town area which is kind of similar to like um XCOM uh other grand well not really grand strategy games but uh, other like you know things uh Rogue Legacy a little bit run up these lanes keep All the right. side path the hamlet is just ahead so basically you go through these hallways which random events trigger and then into the next room and the room will either be like empty or have treasure or have random encounters and everything dispatch this dog in brutal fashion that and, all may hear of your arrival excuse me hello and so we're hanging out with our uh our tutorial characters we got Demo and uh yes mr r confidence surges as and they're always the same but later characters that we pick up will be like uh procedurally generated i guess if that is the correct term and so you can interact with stuff in the background there is and everything to be found in forgotten places yeah hi An ambush. and then there's like bigger enemies like this guy's like a little right pseudo mini boss and their kind is no longer welcome and then you your units themselves have some inklings of strategy like uh, they have moves and everything that alter where they're placed throughout the battle there's like four main slots so you have kind of like uh, frontline characters you have like ranged characters um, some characters are like mixed and usually most characters are compatible 
wherever you kind of put them. Like, they have a mix of, like, front line and, like, you know, mid to back row skills, but mostly they're geared towards one specific place or another. Also, there's different moves with, uh, blah, 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 status ailments and stuff. So that is also a key to the strategy thing. It's kind of, you know, you gotta apply debuffs, buffs, status, status ailments, you know, all that kind of, yes, hello. There's also corpses, and they block movement. Like, you can move around in here. Ooh, check out this little, like, gargoyle skull just freaking out all over the place. Adorable. Yeah, there's, like, bleeding and stuff like that, but I'm not gonna worry about it. <laughs> you get nothing, Dima. You get nothing. You haven't earned Papa's love yet. Some skills hit, like, for less damage, but across multiple characters. Etc. Etc. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the shark. Also, there's sweet ass narration, which I'm gonna like talk through most of the time. And then there's stuff like this. Like, this is the tutorial chest, but you know, oh no! It's fine. Whoa! It's kind of a weird dip. Nothing you guys have to worry about, you know? Relax. Everybody calm down. Alright. This is another thing. There's like quirks. Which are good and which are bad. And so your characters kind of get a personality to them in a certain like limited sense. Welcome home, such as it is. This squalid hamlet, these corrupted. You're right, man? You look stressed out. And you are bound to them. You're just like staring at this scroll of like bills, just being like, ah, oh, Jesus, I don't know how we're gonna pay this shit, honey. You calm down. Alright. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. I'm just gonna peruse through these, just to get them out of the way. And men, soldiers, and outlaws, fools, and corpses. All will find their way to us now that the road is clear. Anyway, so this is how you get more heroes. So we are going to upgrade this boy. More arrive, foolishly seeking fortune and glory in this domain of the damned. Alliteration. It's nice. Um, you upgrade them with these useful things that you find in the um, in the dungeon. I like it. Most will end up here, covered in the poisoned earth, awaiting merciful oblivion. All right, so this is like the overworld area. It's not much to look at right now. It's a fixer-upper. You know, it's got uh, two and a half baths, uh, three bedrooms, um, a rompus room, if you're into that, you know. But, uh, you know, you definitely need to put some love into it. All right, let's customize, uh, let's customize our brohams. Uh, you're gonna be red. No. You're gonna be blue. Yeah, that's nice. That's, that's, that's nice, yeah, that's nice. And you're also going to be... You're gonna be something equally as weird. You're gonna be Ramza from Final Fantasy Tactics. I've done this fucking four times. And every time, I die a little bit on the inside. And you're gonna be Alma. You're gonna stay red. Oh god, your skills are trash. Fuck! <laughs> Alright, um. What are you gonna be? Shit. Okay, you're Plague Doctor. Um. You're gonna be. You're gonna be. You're gonna be Birdie from uh, the Marvel Comics universe slash Street Fighter, even though they're completely different characters. Um, I don't know. You're gonna be Sparrow. 
You can be so on the nose. But you're gonna love it though. All right, let's, let's, let's get along, a little of doggy. And morbidity. I'm Your tempted every begins. single time to just, just just put these guys in here. Nah, you're fine. It's everything's fine. I I assure you, you can do it. I don't actually think you can. Maybe you can go. I'm not gonna kill the LP. I've restarted it too many times. Um, okay, let's do the scouting thing. The cost this of should the be fun. Measured now in gold, later in blood. You're gonna take like five torches because the tutorial is bullshit and it doesn't know what the hell it's talking about. We're gonna take eight food. We're gonna take shovel. This is a nice update that some of them bring like stuff so you don't have to like you know cover their asses all the time and we're gonna take one of these we're gonna take two keys yeah yeah it's nice yeah okay so I think this is still part of the tutorial stage so I think this map will remain the same oh yes press space I actually didn't read that, but I'm sure it's fine. I'm almost an expert. Trust me. Trust me, I'm a doctor. Ma'am. <laughs> Please write me the check that I need. I'm a doctor. My badge number? Doctors don't have badges yet. You don't know that. You don't know. Confidence surges oh, nice. The enemy crumbles. Birdie already setting out to prove herself. I'm, oh, shit. That's right, you suck. Well, just start healing everybody, I guess. <laughs> you support the team. Their formation is broken. Maintain Get in there. Defensive. Give 110%. You love it. All right. All right, enhance, enhance, and Enha oh, I can't enhance anymore. Probably unenhance here. Zoom out. Put it up on the Even main projector. The cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Oh, they gave us a shovel. How nice of them. So you want to keep your light level up, just because. Uh, well, I mean, it depends. But we're dumb babies. We're huge fucking cowards. Huge coward babies. So we want to keep our light up so that, uh, like, it, excuse me, I'm trying to explain something to the group. I would appreciate it if you waited your turn. Um, yeah, the redder the negative, I was going to say negative benefits. That doesn't make any sense. Shut up. The detriments. There you go. So lower light gets more stressed out, you guys get. You're like, oh fuck, it's dark. I can't see anything. There's that big room full of hypodermic needles like in that Saw movie. It's freaking me out. Um, <clears throat> and then the, oh god. I Yellow? Sure. That looks pretty yellow to me. Shut up. <laughs> uh, those are the bonuses, like we, the brighter it is, the more likely that the monsters are going to be surprised. But the darker it gets also, the more loot that you can get. Better stuff. You know, it doesn't have to make sense. Don't worry about it. It's magic. It's Cthulhu Age magic. Falls, a faint hope blossoms. Mm hmm. Oh. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, Brody. Really let me down, girl. Alright, that's the movement thing I was talking about. They can shift your guys around and screw up your strategy big time. It's bad. Alright. See, there are character. Well, they're not really characters. There's enemy types in the game. 
They can fuck you up worse than others. Like that thing, the occultist. She's big on doing stress damage. And when you guys get stressed out, they either step up to the streets or they freak the fuck out and, uh, you know, do less of that whole helping the group thing. So you want to kind of keep the stress down. You want to keep them focused, you know, sharp. Also, obviously, the lower the stress is, the more missions they can, can go on without just shitting the butt. And if they get to 200 stress, meaning they get enough of, like, they get up one bar so that they freak out, and then they get up one more bar, then they just die. Their heart explodes, because that's how that works. The heart is actually a giant balloon based on your stress level. <laughs> that's why if you have sex before marriage, your heart just bursts. It's a medically proven fact, kids. So I guess what I'm saying is, Don't do that. <laughs> so controversial. The most controversial. God, Birdie, I swear to God, you are gonna be so off the fucking team if you do not get your shit together, girl. I know you spent, you know, eight years at grad school earning your Plague Doctor degree, but you're about to get a malpractice suit. I swear to fucking God. All right. Just a group pep talk, you know, keep everyone focused, you know. Help everyone give 110% to the team. Jesus Christ. Alright, let's, uh, let's just calm down. Everybody take a breather. Snort some coke. Get back in there. I don't think I brought any bandages because I'm a huge man. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to hit... Hmm... Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yep. All right. It's going to be one of those rooms. It's the rooms where jack shit all happens. Okay. We can... All right. I want to kill this thing. It's down to one HP. Go for the multiple hit. You got it. All right, good. Fucking turning this ship around. The ground quakes. All right. I'm gonna boost Ramza, who seems to be the only one actually capable of helping us out of this situation. All right, we're getting, <laughs> we're getting it, we're doing it. See, that's what I was talking about. Also, that decreases the light level. Also, you are no help, Alma. You just, you exactly like the character in Final Fantasy. You are no help at all. You're not pulling your own goddamn weight. All right, let's shift him around, get him back in the prime peak attack position alpha. Jesus. All right. Uh, yeah, let's, let's get some light in here, you know? Can't see a damn thing. Let's start clearing these corpses. Bring the, bring the beast to us. All right. Sweet. Remind yourself Sweet, that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. So, based on my, you know, 18 years of experience at this game, I've learned that certain items interact with other certain items. Jesus, are you okay? Fuck. Mind that such missteps are the exception and not the rule. All right. Ramza, do you want to address the class of how we could have prevented this? Maybe if you guys use your eyes? See? Alright. Got some scouting. I don't really want to go in there. Move to this room battle with Kyrio. Ah, fuck the Kyrio. Kyrio's dead to me. You could try and min-max this campaign, but fuck it. Alright. Everybody stop to open up your Lunchables that your mom so lovingly packed. You ch chill out. 
Packed for you all. All right, back to eight food. So if we get hungry twice, we'll be fine. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Game had to think about it a little bit. Oh, I had two stacks. All right. Oh, it automatically merged my stacks. Thanks, game. Proud of you. Super proud. Hey, look at this big stack of bullshit. Never want to dig that out with your hands. Bad idea. Get the dirt all up in your fingernails. Oh, jeez. Probably should have... Well, I didn't have a torch, so... This is as good as it gets. Not great. Off to a rough start. Okay, what do we want to do? I want to minimize the stress damage. Because they're going to get healed after this. 100%. Okay, what's everybody's resistances? 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%. Sweet! Alright, let's go for the two for one here. Birdie, you're really stepping it up out there. Alright. Such a terrible assault. I, I appreciate that. Getting kind of low. Okay. You know. Is your dodge stat like fucking two and a half? <laughs> What's going on here? Sweet. Okay. Oh, sweet. See, Birdie, you know, you're doing a lot better than your last initial performance review, and I appreciate that. I see you out there. A death nice. You should probably also focus on this guy. I don't think I'm going to be able to kill him this turn. Okay. I'll just whittle him down. He's got two more rounds of blight, so that's eight damage. So he's basically dead. He just doesn't realize that he's dead yet. Unfortunately, he can still do something during that time, but not anymore. All right, that was pretty. That was pretty good. This I liked it. I would like to continue adventuring success. because the chest that is standing in the middle of the room has not been opened yet. Really hate that adaptation. Before it just this thing just used anyway. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Does not matter. Relax. All right, I think that went pretty well. I mean, it was the baby mission for babies, but our babies made it out. Also, you know what was kind of fucked up? Muppet babies. That shit was fucked up, right? Like Gonzo. <laughs> Gonzo's in the fucking nursery, and nobody questions this. They're like nanny or whatever is just like, oh, it's. Yeah, that's just Gonzo. Something long absent in the something if I saw Gonzo a as a baby, by. I'd be like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> what, what is that? Of hope. Everyone would be like, oh, it's Gonzo. Be like, are you fucking serious? You, you just let this thing sleep in this room? The With these other babies? I mean, I guess the talking pig and frog would be disturbing as well. Animals have been dusted. The pews. I would accept straight. animal. The Abbey calls to. I'm the sure faithful. he's a fucked up Borneo boy, but you know, the right conditioning, he could be a model citizen. <laughs> okay, so this is stress relief. Now you're probably wondering, oh my god, look at all this stress. I thought that would go away at the end of the mission. Nah, nah, dog, nah, nah. That stays around. So we're gonna have to, you know, just. Gently condition. The oh, fuck. That means that this thing is like. It's part of his core personality. So. It's gonna be harder to remove these. We're just gonna have to gently condition them so that they don't suck so much. Alright. <clears throat> so. Some of the characters have quirks. Like, he's like, oh, I just, no. I must pray. I must pray. 
So we're just gonna um, a man in a robe, upgrade this a little bit since we're gonna use it right away. And he's gonna chill out. Madness. Now, Birdie. I like you, Birdie. You and I, we're, we, we're good. We got we got a new birdie. We got I don't know. The initial crew will get their names first. These guys will have to survive to earn their names. They have to work. Okay. We built this town. They're just here leeching off of our success. All right, what's going on in here? Kegs, cards, and curtained rooms promise solace to the weary and Caretaker. broken alike. You are a fucking. You're a piece of shit. You know that caretaker? Alright, so we're not gonna we're not the game kinda of forces you here. To have one person that's like insanely stressed out as a teaching exercise, which is actually very good game design. I like it. But uh we're not gonna take Birdie. Birdie's gonna get the night off because Birdie she uh she stepped up, you know? She was like, Oh man, I suck. I should probably just kill myself. And I was like, Yeah, Birdie. Why don't you do that? Oh, the Xbox thought I was talking to it. No, I'm not talking to you, Xbox. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Pay no attention to what's happening behind this curtain. Um. Oh, Jesus Christ. I might have fucked myself a little. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. Anyway, let's let's move on. Let us move on. You know, Birdie, Birdie Earn. <laughs> yeah, look at her. She's she's going for it, man. She loves it. Okay. You are new. I have never used this thing before. But if I try to put it here, oh no! That's racist. And you should feel bad. So, that's why I was like, oh man, I think we fucked ourselves. Where are you good at? You're good at the number three slot, so that's good. So we can bring the grave robber. Hmm. Now, you... Okay, we're, I rarely do this, but we're gonna put her up there and we're gonna keep her. She's gonna, she's just gonna hang out. She won't be able to do this, which kind of sucks, but that's the way that the cookie crumbles, according to Bruce Almighty. All right, which mission we, oh no, thank you. All right, so missions have lengths. So this is a medium mission, which is a longer mission. Fuck that shit. So we're just gonna do the scouting. Maybe I can get away with just skirting around some battles. It'll be good. Ooh, grave robbers bring shovels. How apt. I also like how these now have limited supplies to stop me from buying like 6,000, oh, I already have one. 6,000 uh, food. <laughs> just brute forcing the game to do what I want it to do. All right, so we're gonna bring like five torches. We got two shovels. That's actually kind of maybe overkill, but it's fine. We're gonna bring some holy waters. We're gonna bring one of these. Now nah, it's we gotta kind of scrimp here. You know, can't buy the four ply toilet paper right now. We got we gotta stick to two ply. You know, we're moderate. You know, moderately budgeting here. Also, this is going to be kind of a longer episode, since it's the debut episode. Face out the halls of your lineage. Yeah, it's all about you Brandy, there. you know? No, Oren. I mean, not Brandy. I haven't been drinking, officer. If that's what you're plying. <laughs> it's ridiculous to think that I would be <laughs> drinking. All right. Ooh, statue. Oh, fuck. That's not supposed to happen like that. That's bullshit. That's fucking horseshit. Alright. Sweet, dude. <laughs> the most sarcastic. Okay, Grave Robber, what do you got? 
Fuck. God damn it. Okay, you just move back. Two to three damage. Yes. Masterfully Ooh. executed. Alright, so he's... Is that a he? Just says courtier. Could mean anything. It is dead next turn. Slowly move up. I'm not sure what determines how... Ooh, that's not good. How far characters can move. If there's no real, like, move stat, maybe it's based on, like... Nah, that doesn't make any sense. It wouldn't be based on dodge, but, you know. Who knows? Anyway. Alright, these guys all are resistant to bleed, but that's fine. Give them no quarter. Alright, what do you got going on here? Not much. This surprise thing this is kind of like fucked us all up power. here. Everyone's out of order. I don't like it. Baynard. It's not a name. As the fiend falls, that's an affliction. A faint hope blossoms. Okay, this dude's all alone. Also, how are you seeing a? Oh, I guess you have like little eye slots here. That's a sick house. That is that is like the sickest. All right, <clears throat> it's still creeping up here. The battle's gonna be over, but it's fine. The enemy you did it all. Ooh. These things are like little trinkets that you can equip your characters and with. Driven into the mud. It's actually pretty good stuff. I am... This pleases me. I am pleased. You... Yeah, okay, there we go. We are 100% fine. Wow. I've never seen it do that before. Huh. Well, good. We're basically back up to full strength, except for this bro. And no one wants to touch this, which is great. I'm proud of you guys. You're all issuing very well thought out constraint on your actions. I appreciate you. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, let's go. These guys used to have, like, protect for one patch, and it was, like, the worst bullshit. But now they do not, so... I guess everybody real. Why is this like outlined in red? Is that supposed to tell me that it does? Oh, it's a. What the? F oh, it's a debuff. Okay, debuffs are outlined in orange. See, I'm learning. Everybody's learning things. Everybody's doing great. I love it. <laughs> I fucking love it. Everybody's everybody's doing it. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. We don't really have a healer when she's up here. God damn it. Okay. Well, I can switch. Excuse me? Alma, I swear to god. You were if you weren't named after a character from a game I love, you would be so off the team. Anyway, I guess I can switch her around. In accordance to, to her healing end. needs. Sweet. Enhance. Enhance. I'm gonna be doing that for a while, so get used to it. If you don't like super troopers, you can get out. Nah, I'm kidding. You can like what you want, man. Super troopers is a pretty good movie. Like that movie. The movie's pretty okay. Ah, oh, yeah, eat your food. You guys are fucking pigs, you know that? <laughs> Should've ate before you left. Knock yourself out. Thank God. Oh, God damn it. See, that's why quirks can get you. Because all those things have negative and positive benefits. Sometimes they work out. Jeez. Pay no attention to what is behind the curtain. <laughs> Everyone just calm down. It scared me more than it scared you. Not even sure if the mic picked it up. Don't worry about it though. Everything's fine over here. No one is holding the gun to my head making me record this video. 
No scouting, huh? Don't like it. Okay. Better than earlier. Okay, what do we want? Okay, let's just take a quick... Can I take a quick stock here? Yeah, okay. Let's just... Oh! Well, shit. <laughs> okay. Speed four. Speed seven. Damn, you are, like... You're doing it. <laughs> you are a well-trained man. Speed eight. I don't think you can use this on yourself. Oh, you can't. You selfish bastard. All right, yeah. She will benefit from the, the speed buff and the damage buff. It'll compensate for her negative quirk, so. Also, she's kind of like our front man, lady. So, no real option. I also have this. I also just hit my pop filter. Don't worry about it. Oh, sweet. Oh, she hit him so hard that his corpse just burst into a bloody fucking mess. I like that. I'm all right with it. I want to get rid of this thing. She does stress damage. And stress damage is one thing we can't really... Yes, hello. Really afford right now. I mean, almost at 52 out of 200. Well, I mean, really 100 before she gets to the point where... She's either gonna freak out or become the greatest lady ever. 200 is when she dies, which I would like to avoid, I guess, because she's our only healer. Oh. A trifling victory. Our inventory has but become victory, full. Nonetheless. All right. Now, question. You have a dodge at zero. So will this really hurt? Excuse me? Will this really hurt you? No. We're gonna take the, the bust. Because we are we're starting out with fresh. Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> starting out with fresh. You calm down, dude. Oh. Nice. Starting out with fresh, we need we need all the busts that we can get, you know. We're like a beat cop. We need these busts. So I can stop pushing around paper for the fuck rest of my life. Alright. Well, she since she's back here, I'm gonna have her heal uh, Sparrow. So on the nose. Love it. You mind yourself first, lady. Um How much damage do you do? Four to nine. May not really be enough. Here to crit though, 12%. Here to hit, 83%, as compared to 78%. Higher hit base overall. This will do less damage, but it'll hit both of them. But I'm more concerned about just weeding out the number of damage outlets that we have going on right now. So I'm gonna do this. That hit for the maximum amount that the other one would have, so I feel like that was a pretty RH decision. Decision. Words. Stun 100%. Yes. Alright, so they're stunned. I can't... I can't reach you. Although... It would have to hit for its max, but... Oh, there you go. We did it. So smart. You run for yourself, man. You don't have to be a slave to conformity. All right. She's gonna chill and heal. Needs to get some heals. Food is limited. Thought there would be more food. That is bad. Not the worst, just slightly bad. Now, ideally you would, uh, yeah, let's try to get rid of this guy. 
one last damage source. So that's good. We can work with this. Now, after she's got a bonus. Oh, plus 40%. Stun resist. It's been buffed. Used to be 20. The fuck, man. Alright. Bleeding does stack. So you gotta watch out. Shit's not cool. Alright, I guess we're just gonna, like, wail on this guy for a while. It's not good. We are running out of lights. Man, 83% chance. You think this is amusing game? Oh, we're bleeding the corpse out. Sweet. All right, take care, take care of your buddy. I don't know your name, I'm sorry. You're new here though. That actually might be a little bit beneficial, of course. <laughs> All right, there we go, finally. One connects. Push, push this to the front. Damn. Got to start reading these skill descriptions more quickly. That could have been a lot more useful later, or like earlier on. Okay. All right. Doing it. This expedition at least promises success. How much of the map do we have to go? Yeah, scout 90% of rooms. There's uh, three, five, four, that's nine. So, all but one. I'm assuming it rounds up. You can't not explore like 0.5 of a room, right? That's just stupid. All right, take take this. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna pop the other torch because we got we only got three more rooms to go. We can stretch it. Now, real question. We gotta keep the food. Probably should have used the bandage. That's my bad. I apologize. Now, do we want these crests? This painting. Personal experience painting is more rare and, uh, uh, fuck the gold, I guess? Wish I could have used this key sooner, but, you know. <laughs> oh, there you go. Uh, oh, and we can take all this stuff. Sweet. Oh, we had a... I don't want to talk about it. I just don't want to talk about it. <laughs> okay, we don't have any keys, so... Oh, look. Enemies. Oh, look. We surprised them. That's actually... I said the same thing, but... In two different meetings completely. Ah, oh, fuck. I forgot to move my guys back. Uh, see... You guys, I'm talking to you, and you just, you don't, you're not helping. <laughs> Kidding. I love you all. You're like my little children. I'm gonna hug each and every one of you. No, not really. That'd be weird. These nightmarish okay, creatures can you, be get back. Fought. Get they back here. Beaten. You piece of trash. All right. I'm gonna lead the way. You doing it. You know, for all the armor she's got on, she's not that tanky. This is pleasing to me. No enemies. Alright. Sure would love a torch, boss. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. We're just gonna have to... We're just gonna have to deal with this shit. Now, I've heard that if the light, like, if the torch goes completely out, well, A, you'll get super great rewards. Oh, God. <laughs> Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Oh, this, this, this bastard's gotten so fucking lucky. Love it. Love it. Um, anyway, as I was saying, ooh, I added this, which is the most useful thing ever. Um... If the torch goes out, right? There's this monster I've only seen one time. But it can sometimes spawn if there's no torch. 
and it is the most bullshit monster I've ever seen in my life. We're gonna continue adventuring because I want to find out what this thing is, and there's no enemies in here. Oh, it's a torch. And there was some medicine on the torch? I don't know. Someone was just like, here, torch. You look like you could use this. That was stupid. That was the dumbest. But it all worked out. Alright, we're good. A little touch and go, but overall, and we will went well. Whatever I liked it. They hold. Of course, my secret plan of holding on to the bandage to sell it back for five gold. Okay. We got some more dudes up to resolve level one. That's good. Alma, you, you're falling apart, girl. You gotta get your shit together. Loves alcohol. It's amazing. The poor caretaker. I fear his long-standing duties here have how's how's this gone? Him. Yeah, he doesn't look very good. He actually looks like he's you know being sued by the IRS or something. It's fucked up. <laughs> what have you got to say to yourself? Okay. Let's uh let's check this out. Make no mistake. We will face ever greater threats. Our soldiers must be ready. We got to we got to pan it out for the dialogue so you guys can hear. The bellows blast once again. The forge stands ready to make weapons of war. Sweet. Okay. 7 of 9. Awesome. Okay. Well, let's let's upgrade this so now we can take all these guys and um, bandage and pillage. Swear to God, the dancing steps of war. Please, do not be afraid. Come here. So we have another. We have Middleton. It's a weird name. So now we have another healer. So Alma can get some rest. She got any like weird? No, no, she's just light sensitive and she's got a torn rotor cuff. She's like, um, she's like a Morlock, kind of. Why, why are you still in here? What happened? What, what's going on? What, what, what did I miss? What did I not read? Ramza, you, <laughs> you better get out of here, man. I just, sometimes they do this. Sometimes they're just like, nah, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I'm having a great time in here. A little hope. All right. However desperate. Just gonna take a break. Never without worth. Gonna get everybody prepared. You are actually set up pretty good. I like that. I'm not gonna waste any money on you. I mean, I'm not gonna invest any money. On you. Right, guys? Birdie, how are you doing? Birdie's fine. Birdie is ready to go. She is hyped. She's happy to be here. Happy to be here, Chuck. Again with this? Yeah. <laughs> I'm assuming you're addressing me as your liege. So. Strong drink. I'll allow this. Chance and companionship. The rush of life. There's a lot of small audio cues that make this game like really great. I don't think we're gonna need them on the next mission. Okay, you can be in the back. This guy's like a range character. Obs. Scared of beasts. What a silly man. <laughs> can you move up? Yeah. No, you can't yet. You're gonna get way better if you can move up in fact let's uh let's check out this guild hall this see this uh if you don't like your character skills if they're pure garbo like uh little miss alma here you can pay some money and then boom got that skill yes hi so we can take off um we can take off this and move this up yeah, 
And now... Oh no! They changed it. Before this used to move you back. So you could like duelist advance and then uh, use a point blank shot and then you'd like move back. So you could like switch in between. That's shitty. Anyway, well, yeah. It's too late now. <laughs> Sorry, spent the money. So, uh, moving on, and we're walking, and we're walking. So let's let's just see what we got going on here. We got we got the 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 veiled, wailed, veiled. Pretty sure it's veiled. I don't know, man. Don't don't look at me. Avert your eyes. Got some mediums. It's short. Everything like that. Uh, I'll tell you what. We'll figure that out next episode. So I'm going to end it here. Jesus. <laughs> Pay no attention to what's happening behind the curtain. So, yeah. We're going to end the episode here. Everything's sweet. Everything's going great. Um, if you like the episode, give us a like. Um... If you got some suggestion, if you're like, hey, fuck boy, uh, you can leave comments. Please don't say that. You're going to hurt my feelings. You know, I'm very sensitive. Very just paper thin skin over here. And um, if you want to see more episodes and you're like, oh, shit, what's this URL? I don't know. I can't remember. Hey, man, just subscribe. It'll show up on your YouTube feed. You know, like, comment, or subscribe to my first video blog uh, we're doing really great out there we got uh, 500 likes so far on the petition to bring back boxy um, yeah so I will see you guys in the next episode see you later <laughs>